May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit abide with us now and forever. Amen. No, 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 friend. We're not closing the GCK daily even before we get started. We're starting the show with that prayer most of you have heard from childhood, perhaps. Well, friends, welcome to GCK Daily, the show that seeks to bring your way times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. Today, we explore what our fellowship with the Lord truly looks like. You know, we constantly pray that prayer of grace from the epistles we started the show with. We could even recite it offhand. But do we truly practice it daily? Can the Lord truly seek your fellowship and obedience? And is that a ready obedience? Let's listen as we learn some valuable truths from Dr. Kumi, God's servant, serving in global ministry for over 50 years. Look at Ephesians chapter 3, and I'm reading from verse 8. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8, unto me, unto me, unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given. Grace, I am what I am, but the grace of God is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Almost unknowable, unsearchable, unfathomable, so deep, so wide, so high, as high as the heavens the Lord revealed unto him. And he said, now by grace, because I responded, the Lord has given me, and the Lord has sent me with the unsearchable riches of Christ. Abraham, look at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. Hebrews 11, verse 8, by faith, when he was called to go into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, he obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went by faith. And that's how he became a friend of God. Can you think, can you imagine that God wanted to do something and God said I will not do anything in the neighborhood of Abraham my friend except I tell him and then he said Abraham I want to do something can you think of God consulting with a human friend this is what I'm going to do and then the human friend said don't do it yet. Let me ask you a question, God. You are the God of all flesh. If you see 50 righteous people there, will you do it? Okay, I won't. I bought 40. I bought 30. I bought 20. I bought 10. Okay, I will not. Can you think of a man like that that has consultation with God concerning people that are not even his own people? Sodom and Gomorrah because he followed God by faith and he went out in obedience not knowing whither he went. I pray that same favor will come upon your life. We're looking at Acts chapter 10 for start history. Acts chapter 10 Verse 33, immediately, therefore, I sent for thee. The Lord had appeared through an angel to Cornelius. Sent for Peter. I've never heard of Peter. He's living in such and such a place. Well, immediately, he sent for Peter. You know, many people, unfortunately, when they hear the instruction from the Lord, they say, I'll think about that. I'll see to that later. And then they leave the service, they have heard the word later, later, later. And then in the afternoon, they're forgotten. In the evening, they're forgotten. The following day, they're forgotten what they heard. 
and they do not act immediately. But Cornelius, immediately, therefore, I said to thee, and thou hast well done, that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God to hear all things, to hear all things that are commanded thee of God. That's the secret. Willing to hear whatever it is, it may come my way, it may not be in my way, I may like it, it may not be something I'm familiar with, but God is going to speak, and we are all here, myself, my wife, my children, my whole family, and the people that God has surrounded me with, all of us, and my friends, he went to bring them. We are all here to hear all things that a commanded of thee. And as Peter was speaking, he had not even finished, the Holy Ghost came upon them all. Timothy. Timothy was that selfless person. And in uh, Philippians chapter 2, reading from verse 19, but I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you, that also I may be of good comfort when I know your estate. Then in verse 20, in verse 20 it says, For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your stage. Selfless man. Look at verse 22. In verse 22, But she know the proof of him that as a son of the father he has served with me in the gospel. That's a man that was totally self-centered and Christ-centered. And if we're going to make a mark in our world, that's the model we need, the model of Isaiah, of Moses, of Paul, of Abraham, of Cornelius, of Timothy. Today's message has left us with a few truths to meditate on. Number one, fellowship. Fellowship is an important topic on God's heart. It seats at the foundation of why man was made. We thrive the most when we have fellowship with God. Number two is prayer. Prayer is like a conversation with a trusted friend and a companion. We are able to share fellowship, build love and trust with God when we pray. What's more, when you love and trust, it's also easy to obey. You too can be God's trusted friend and companion. You should try it today. And oh yes, one more thing. You have to give your life to Christ to enjoy this fellowship with God. You have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Believe He alone saves your soul and confess salvation through Him. Connect with a Bible-believing church and join God's people to call upon the name of God. And then you're plugged in with the full options, including fellowship with the Father. Friends, God made you unstoppable. He wants to see you do great exploits for Him. Be that trusted companion to God. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you at this time. We know that you are serious with our salvation. You are serious with our forgiveness. And you see everyone, those who are sincere, and those who have called upon you, those who have turned away from darkness, turned away from sin, turned away from iniquity. And he turned to the Lord now as their personal Savior. Save them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you brought out, blot out all their transgression, all their iniquity, and the guilt and the burden of sin take away from their lives. Let the joy of salvation, the joy of forgiveness, 
and the joy of freedom from sin come upon their lives right now. Those who are here, those who are over there, everywhere, online, let the joy of forgiveness and salvation come upon everyone now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We come before you. You are the God that cannot fail. You've told us already that the promise is unto us. The power is for us. The miracle explosion is for us. And the healing, the deliverance, everything heaven has to offer is for us. There's no exception tonight. Send forth your power. Heal your people in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, whatever the oppression, whatever the attack, cancel it now in Jesus' name. Brain problem, madness, insanity, psychological problem, be removed in Jesus' name. Blindness, the Lord is touching your eyes right now. Those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deaf and dumb, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. <laughs> swelling in the tummy, swelling at the back, swelling of goiter on the neck, swelling in the feet, elephantiasis. Be healed in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, so called cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, kidney problem, respiratory problem, long standing problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Pain at the back, in the head, in the spine, anyway, in the body. Be healed in Jesus' name. Curse, yoke, affliction, enemies' affliction, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, everywhere, to the right, to the left, in front of me, anywhere you hear the sound of my voice, receive your miracle now in Jesus name online in every country at the message the ministration the prayer getting to you now you are healed in Jesus name Lord let there be confirmation everywhere performance everywhere Miracle explosion everywhere. And the things impossible for man, possible for God, do it now, Lord. Confirm your miracle everywhere. In Jesus' name I pray. The prayer of David. One thing we ask of you. One thing that we desire. As we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. Arise, 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 arise. Take your place, be enthroned on our praise. Arise, King of Kings. Holy God. 
Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the global crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is share today's message with a friend so they can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on your specific geographical time zone. Thank you. Thank you.